girl Chris Corio here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am doing a very special review on one of my favorite lipsticks. Well, actually, it's not one of my favorite lipsticks, that's a lie. I've never used it in my entire life. You see what my lie? It's your YouTube vlogger's lie. <laughs> so anyway, this is from Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Line and this one is actually called Dancer 118. It's number 118 and it's called Dancer. So... I figured, you know, it's coming on to the holiday season. All of us ladies like to get pretty, even if it's just for like a Zoom party. Um, we want to look nice and pretty. And I'm going to be doing, reviewing four of these lipsticks, including a lipstick remover um, at the end of each video just for you so that you can choose, you know, among these four. There's like a hundred of these different lipsticks in this one line. So I'm not going to be reviewing all of them by December. I had a doubt that's going to happen. So, um, before you go on Amazon, at least you'll be able to tell what it is that this looks like. Now, me now, in terms of my complexion, uh, but you can see my complexion, so you can kind of decipher if this will work for you or not, right? Um, before I start, I'm going to just kind of moisturize my lips with this little lip balm because these tend to be very drying and very hard for the lips. I've used them before but what i realized with these lipsticks is that they're they dry and they last forever and ever and ever and if you don't use like a proper lipstick remover i used to use like just coconut oil baby oil to rub it off and that kind of helps but um i tried i wanted to try this as well um it's called super stay eraser so it's it's supposed to go hand in hand with these um it got good reviews on amazon so i said all right let me try it so i can stop putting oil on my face <laughs> So, but I also do want to use some lip balm just to ensure that my lips remain moisturized and I'm not, it's not too hard to come off. All right, so put that on. Moisturize the lips. I believe if you're not careful, these um, lipsticks can also suck the moisture from your lips, right? Which is understandable because I mean, it's the way they work, right? If your lips remain moist throughout, then the lipstick will probably just rub right, rub right off, right? Mm, so, um, that's what it looks like. What I love about these brushes, if you can see the color, that's what it looks like, right? What I love about these colors is that, not the color, but the stick is that it will follow the natural line of your lips. So if you're a person like me who has very small lips, mm, and then they have their own little points. So it's not like it's small, you can just put like a lip and just go so so. No, like I have to draw along my lip line. <laughs> right? That's what I love about this. It's so precise. So let me just go ahead and try this. I'm not gonna be looking in the camera and doing it because I don't trust myself to look from so far. So I dip in, take out uh not too much because I don't have such big lips. I'm not sure if you realize. Um so here we go. I'm gonna go from um, you can pretty much start from anywhere. And for me, let me just go here. Mm -hmm. Ah. It's like an orangey look, huh? Kind of went outer line over there. It looks kind of orangey. I love a good red lipstick. Let me tell you. I don't know if you know this, but I love a good red lipstick. Um, and I like the old school rich red. You see what I mean? It draws it really nice. You see that? Whew. And then the thing too, you know, for the girlies like myself who have small lips, you can actually, not a huge amount, but you can kind of draw on the out, sorry, you can, oh my God, you can draw like on the outside of the lip 
to kind of give it a fuller look. Let me sharpen my upper triangles here. And then I'm gonna go in again, just gonna go over this, right? And go over that. Oh my god, way too much. So this is the last layer. And then what I'm gonna to do too at the end. I'm gonna do a wine glass test. So I'm gonna allow it to dry. Is it on nice and good? Wow. Um, um. So I'm gonna allow it to dry. So this is called Dancer. I'm gonna allow it to dry and then I'm gonna get a glass of wine. And uh, I'm gonna try the glass of wine and see. All right, let me do a. You guys know that trick, right? You just put your finger in your mouth to get rid of the excess. And it helps to prevent it from going on your teeth. You can use that trick. Okay. Just gonna kind of sit here and allow it to dry. Okay, so I'm gonna try the wine glass test now. I don't think it's absolutely dry, but let me go ahead and try. There is no lip stain. That's nice. Ooh. There's like no lip stain, guys. That's great. I love that. The thing is that I'm pretty sure if I was to kiss the way I want to kiss, all of this would be gone. Yeah, I think it would be. But anyways, we're not gonna get into too much details with that. What I'm gonna be trying now is the lip stain remover. All right, so I'm gonna come close so you can see if this is actually working. Come on, I want to set up my life, maybe believe I'm not paying for the this. So this is the lip stain remover, and the directions include. Well, I'm gonna wipe off my fingernail, <laughs> my toenail. I'm gonna wipe off my fingernail in front of some of you. I'm gonna get your fingernail. Why do you keep calling my finger them toe? Why your fingernail them look so? I I like literally just did my makeup, okay? So my fingers have like eyeliner in them and all kind of crap. So anyway, we're not gonna see what I need to see. All right, allow me. So it says on this, it says it's a super stay eraser. Apply generously to lips, then press lips together several times before wiping it off. So let me get my wipe close by. So I've got my wipe ready, and this is just a regular wipe. This is from, um, this is a face, body, and intimate wipe. It's not like a serious 
makeup remover wipe this is the star of the show so i'm not gonna like to know all right so here we go applying a generous amount Okay, and it, it kind of feels just like a lip balm. Okay, or a tattoo. Mm. Press the lips together. going out and you want to choose between a matte lipstick or like another or another matte lipstick like how oh, I have like four of them here now and like I want to try on different types you can totally use this to try on different types of your makeup this is so helpful because the oil doesn't work like this the oil doesn't always work like this and sometimes it gets on the skin because it's break out but this is amazing I like this let me just rub off this with the white rub off the excess lipstick off of this thing here but it is really cool. I like that. I really like that. All right, guys. So this has been my lipstick, lipstick slash lipstick remover um, review slash tutorial. So guys, I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Stay sexy.